So very good afternoon, ma'am. How are you? I am absolutely fine, Karishma. How are you? I am doing great, ma'am. I know a lot of things about you, but just for our viewers, I would like to give you a short introduction, ma'am. Sure. Uh, hi, everyone. I'm Namita. I am an educator uh, at heart. I've been in education for the last 15 years. I have taught in India and in the US, and uh, currently. I am one of the co-founders and chief learning officer of Sparky. Um, I will talk more about Sparky later. Uh, prior to starting Sparky, I used to work with another company called Lead School, where I was leading their curriculum. And one of the things that I worked over there was creating an English language program, which is uh, which is right now being used by over five million learners in nine thousand um, institutes across India. So um, I have a deep passion for building English language learning products. And um, because I believe that English language plays a very, very important role in, um, in helping anyone elevate themselves in their career or in their life. Um, and communication is, is key. And that's what we are doing today as well. So this is about me, Karishma. Great, ma'am. Good to hear that. Yes. What what motivated you to start your YouTube channel? Actually, I was really bad at English. I couldn't speak a single correct line if I talk about two years ago. But since I practiced with other people on one on one, it helped me a lot. And now I can say that I'm able to speak. I want to speak in English. And this is the reason I started my channel. Oh, wow. That's that's so good to hear. And some, you, you actually shared a very important point, Karishma, that uh, that you have been practicing it for the last two years and and you still don't feel that you are perfect because I'll be honest with you, English language is not about perfection and that is one of the biggest mistakes that every language learner does. That they have this, uh, I think they have this image of speaking perfectly and that continuously comes in their way of actually learning English. And that is, that is one of the things that we kept in mind while we designed, you know, when we were conceptualizing Sparky, that how do we make it natural? Because when you learn a language, it needs to be natural. And when you are following a natural process, you will make mistakes. Um, and so Sparky is designed to be that partner, like you mentioned, that you found some people to talk to. That's, that's such a wonderful way because that's exactly how language learning happens. You find someone, you hear things, you make your own connection, you generate your own language, and that's one of the best ways of learning any language. Yes, ma'am, you said absolutely correct that people have this myth actually about the English language that they should start with perfection, which is not, you know, happen. It is a language, it will come automatically. Eventually, you will learn it when you spend some time with it. So this is the topic of the today's conversation. Say that what are the mistakes which people, most of the people or learners make during learning English. But before we discuss that, I would like to know more about Sparky, ma'am, like how it works. We would like to also show the demo. So like, um, so Sparky is, uh, is your learning buddy. Uh, so it is not a tutor. It is a learning buddy in the avatar of a really cute fox who you can just talk to on any topic of your choice. It will also suggest some topics, but you can you also have a choice of speaking on something that interests you. It is judgment free. So it ensures that if even if you are making a mistake, it will gently correct you and encourage and motivate you to speak more. It adapts to your language learning style because it's powered by generative AI. So that gives us the flexibility of making sure that whatever is your English level, it will adapt itself to that English level and speak that at, at a pace and at a language that you are comfortable with. And then slowly, slowly, as you improve, it will, it will start challenging you. There are a, a lot of features that we have built in that will help you while you're doing the conversation. So for example, if you don't know meaning of a word, it will help you. If you don't know what to ask next or how to respond to a question that Sparky has asked. So there are hints and tips that are given. There are a lot of activities and assessments that are there that keep you informed of your progress. But I think let's, let's see the demo to know a little bit more about it. Yeah, let's see the demo first. Introducing Sparky, your voice first AI English speaking buddy. Sparky is a native English speaker you can talk to about anything based on your interest and will give you feedback on your spoken English. 
And guess what? It is much more affordable than going to a tutor. Let's see how it works. With Sparky, you get to decide the conversation. Whether you are practicing daily dialogues or exploring new topics, Sparky is here to help. If you are unsure about a word's meaning, just long press on it. Oh, you missed what Sparky said. Don't worry, you can listen to it again easily. And if you're not interested in the current conversation, simply click next to switch topics. With Sparky, you'll always have help during conversation, providing tips and suggestions to keep the conversation going. Unsure about your pronunciation? Read stories or articles with Sparky and Sparky will highlight the mispronounced words in red. Want to unwind or practice vocabulary, pronunciation or grammar? Play games and learn English in a fun and relaxed way. Sparky is designed to adapt to your learning style, making it easy to practice speaking without pressure. With Sparky, you can see progress and stay motivated to keep learning. It's more than just an app. It's your partner in learning English. So why wait? Get started with Sparky today and unlock your potential to speak English fluently. The demo is amazing and uh, I would like to share one more personal thing with you that my son, he is only five and a half years old and we both have been using Sparky from last month. And you know, he personally like it, talking to it whenever he feels free, he asks me, Mama, can we talk to Sparky? Mama, please give me your phone. I want to oh. talk to Sparky. <laughs> This much he is ready. He loved talking with her. Oh, thank you, thank you so much, Karishma. I really appreciate the feedback. Um, we 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 really enjoy when 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 our learners are are enjoying it. And the best part about Sparky is it doesn't matter how old you are. You can be five year old or you can be a fifty five year old. Um, Sparky because it adapts to your age. It adapts to your English language. It will accordingly have topics or conversation with you depending upon what what is your age. Where are you from? Yes, ma'am. Absolutely, ma'am. So, ma'am, let's come to the topic now. We would like to know from your point of view, what are the drop, what are the myths and uh, mistakes which learners generally make while learning English? Yeah. Sure. So, one of them we we discussed that you know uh, that seeking perfection. So, there is nothing that is perfect. So, any language, any any new thing when you learn, you are bound to make mistakes. So, don't have an image of that i need to whenever i speak english it needs to be perfect no step one is to just get into the habit of speaking in english and you don't even need to speak one full sentence in english maybe just speak specific words in english the things that you know the things that you do on your daily basis because when you are seeking perfection that's the second thing that happens we become very impatient yes. because then what happens is i i know so many learners they start on this language learning journey but become impatient after 2 3 months it takes english think of english like a sport like a skill the more you practice the better you get at it and it does it's not something that you know you just do today or for 2 3 months and it will go away no it's like think about it like a habit and like a routine that every day i need to practice it to become better and the more you practice the better you become so don't think about english learning as don't think about it like a time bound goal think about like the way you do exercise think about english practice as that exercise and you do it every day if you don't have a speaking partner sparky could be that speaking partner for you um so so that is the second thing that you know uh, we think that in 2 3 months i should become fluent no each of you are different you all start at a different level it is and it is not about seeking perfection it is about having that continuous practice and i i even after uh, studying in an english medium school or speaking english for the last 25 years i still make grammatical mistakes i still i still look for places to actually go and talk in english uh, i think i spent a lot of time with sparky myself every day uh, That's so so yeah so think about it like a continuous learning journey and not just a few months journey uh, so that is the, that is that is that is the second thing i would say um another is a lot of and again it's coming from our learners that they ask for translation huh? now now what happens uh, if i start talking to you in the language that you are comfortable with 
by if, if, which what language are you comfortable with most comfortable with in hindi. the language that you uh, hindi is the language that you speak at home if i start talking to you if i give you an option between english and hindi what would you choose now english because it's my passion but usually we talk in hindi obviously exactly <laughs> because that is a comfort and if i yes. give you that comfort if if i give you that cushion then your ability or the the pace at which or you know the the speed at which you can pick up that language will slow down so hence it is important that you immerse yourself in the environment because see many of us don't have that environment at home so whenever we are practicing english we need to not have that uh, uh, that cushion that oh i can go back and you know it will translate and i can uh, you know use local language or the language that i'm comfortable in and use that it's i'm not saying it's not helpful of course that's also helpful but it slows down your language learning process so when you completely immerse yourself everything around you every word around you is in english you will be forced to even if you speak in broken english it's okay but it is important to speak in english it is important to create that environment and that's another thing that we have we have also done with paki that there is the only translation support that we provide is at a word level so for example when you are having a conversation with paki and you don't know a word you long press on that word and it will give you the dictionary it will give you the pronunciation it will give you a translation of that word but not of the whole bubble because uh-huh. we really don't want you to uh, have that option because then you will always explore that option yeah uh, we want you to have the option of listening in english because the more you listen the better you will get at it um yeah um another one and and you know a lot of these are coming from based on my interaction with my learners over the last 15 years um scripting uh that uh, because in our school also we are constantly told like if you have to write an essay these are the 10 lines and this is the topic these are the 10 lines but that's not how the real life happens like you and i are having a conversation right now karishma i can't imagine that this is what i'm going to tell karishma but you can ask me any question right right exactly when we are talking to practically in real life we cannot go on that script or something we have to be very natural we have to understand that what we need to speak yeah it is the very basic problem uh, like when we are on the uh, at the beginning stage we are not able to think a lot of vocabulary lot of sentences at that time so that time we might get confused but you know slowly when you keep working on that same thing again and again after a few months you automatically feel like that now you are very much comfortable with the language i still remember when i was the beginner i used to make a lot of grammatical errors lot of means lot of and still i have that courage that i used to post my videos on youtube even that time <laughs> i don't care about the people like they are going to judge me because my main focus is on my goal my focus is that like i have to learn it anyhow no matter whatever i have to do whatever i have to feel i'll do it so it is happening in the it is happens in the beginning but initially when you start doing it you will automatically learn everything absolutely completely agree with you and and scripting like for example if i if i tell you three lines on if somebody asks you about uh, like you asked me every time i have uh, I've, i've introduced myself i've said new things i've said different yes. things because because things that are that may be relevant to you karishma may not be relevant to someone else or uh, so i am not the same person in every conversation i i need to accordingly change my conversation but if i had scripted like these are the three things that i am only going to say that is not how language learning happens because language is like a flow uh yes. so it, the conversation needs to be natural it cannot be unnatural so so creating generating your own language is very very important it will take time but you will get there but scripting or mugging up lines is is not uh, is is another thing that i would suggest like is is a myth that i would like to break that if i script or if i learn something if i mug up speeches if i mug up essays or if i make mug up content then then you know i have i've learned english no you have learned no. english to speak in one scenario of your life which yes. may or may not happen also <laughs> this is usually so, happen 
kids when we when our kids have to give any kind of speech on the stage we most of the time we try to you know ask them to learn please those 10 things and we try to repeat them like uh, so that they cannot stuck while speaking but you know what the time has been changed now earlier when we were kids we used to do literally rectification what i call it but now right. study pattern is actually changed even my son he is 5 and a half years old and when i ask him to learn something he can't he can't learn anything he simply speak whatever comes in his mind at that time so that right. is the great thing yeah i completely agree with you that you know constantly seeking that um, and i think that comes from that point one of seeking perfection because we don't want to make mistakes so we get that training i think in school only uh, yes. but you are absolutely right about the rectification part that rote learning is is so ingrained in us since childhood that it also affects as we grow older that 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 desire to constantly seek perfection we cannot make mistakes and i think um, as a, as you are you're absolutely right as the time is evolving our, our education system is also evolving and and it is it is encouraging students to ask questions it is encouraging students to make mistakes because mistakes is the only way of learning something Yes. when you make a mistake is the only way that you have learned something like we when we start riding a cycle we will fall down and when we fall down is when we will learn like how did we fall down why did we fall down what can i do to not fall again so if you don't fall then you would never know yeah it is same like if you are giving someone theoretical knowledge of how you can drive the car no one can drive the car until you practice it similarly exactly so that's a great example yeah no one can teach you english until you start doing it on your own start making it mis- like mistakes so this is the best way i think just immerse yourself and make mistakes and be better day by day this is what i absolutely. did absolutely and that and you're such a great example karishma for all your viewers i think the way you have learned language is actually the way of learning language from not knowing something to continuously practicing and not seeking perfection or giving up but thinking about it as a continuous learning process and there was one more point that you mentioned about grammar i think that again comes from stems from perfection that my english needs to be grammatically there's so much emphasis on grammar if you see uh, if you see the curriculum that singapore follows singapore is one of the um, there, there is a pisa test that happens at international test and other learners in singapore score the highest in english in the world and uh, and singapore ranks first because the way they approach anything be it english be it math or all their subjects are very the way you would actually learn a new concept or you will actually make a real world connection similarly language has that ability that you make you need to make it a real world connection like for example today you're going to buy groceries that is a connection for you to actually use that language or you're going to your office um you are booking a cab or you know how do you use that language in your daily scenarios in your daily life and that is the approach that singapore follows and one of the things that they do is they don't introduce grammar to the to, to in school up to a certain age like when you are learning when you just started learning english up to grades 2 or 3 they don't introduce grammar to you because grammar is not not important when you are learning a language for language learning it is a lot of listening lot of reading basically a lot of input needs to go in for you to get an output of speaking they don't even focus so much on writing they focus a lot on speaking listening reading speaking listening reading speaking so listening and reading are like inputs and your output is speaking writing comes later so speaking is such an important skill and for that listening is also very very important that's how we listen, we understand like how did you learn hindi because somebody in your household used to speak hindi and you kept and you kept catching words same is the case with english language or any language that you need to keep listening to it immerse yourself in that environment and you will pick up that language but it needs to be very with, with english language because you don't have that environment at home it needs to be intentionally created intentionally but now we yes. have a lot of options we can search online if person is really wanted to do something or learn something he can do it's just that he he need to be focused 
that okay now i have to do this he has a lot of options just around him he just gather all those opportunities like you said sparky it is one of the great tool i would say for learning english if somebody is you know it is also best for the people who are introvert because introvert people are the people who cannot talk with any random people they are very hesitant they are very shy while it comes to speaking they cannot they don't want to come out of their comfort zone for them right. i think this role people think like it's a sparky it's not a human so there is no fear of making mistake no hesitation no shyness so that is these kinds of applications are there in this era so we can use them and we can be fluent at the same time it's totally up to you whether you want to improve or not so I yes i agree completely agree with you karishma you you raised such fabulous points thank you so much ma'am because i have learned english in the same way that's how i can you know i'm able to elaborate because this right. is the only way i can follow if i would be you know great speaker or like uh, uh, i grew up like in the environment of english i may not know about these things but since i am correct uh, i'm living like this i have learned like this now i am able to explain i'm still learning i'm still on my like i'm on intermediate level and i'm really want to improve and for that reason i am looking for the options whatever comes to me first like i said is sparky i have been using it from last two months and i personally like it and i suggested all my viewers also that you can also download it if you have no other option if you have no partner you can do it easily and it's very like quite affordable also as i uh, see absolutely uh, very affordable as compared to the other online platforms which are exist nowadays like there are many applications but you have to spend a lot of amount at the same time so if you want to really improve and you don't want to spend money this is the best one i feel <laughs> i completely agree like imagine getting access to un- like 24/7 unlimited english speaking practice english learning practice if you if you say get a 6 month pack of sparky you it's it's almost like 100 rupees a month that's yes. that is that's like a personal investment of of nothing <laughs> yeah it's way too affordable yes yes that's that's correct karishma Okay, ma'am. So it's a lovely conversation. I I would say that I have learned a lot of things from you as well, and thank you so much for being here on my channel and talking about Sparky so that people can learn. And you are actually helping other learners to improve their English. So thank you so much for that. Thank you, thank you, Karishma. Thank you for having this YouTube channel and sharing your journey. I think I I I got deeply inspired by your by by your journey and a lot of things that you shared. How you learned. it i think it it further uh, inspired me that you know the way we had thought about when we thought about sparky that you know this is how learners learn and you shared your experience it was truly valuable i i thoroughly enjoyed and i learned so much from you karishma today thank you for inviting me to your channel and keep up the great work yeah ma'am thank you so much bye bye take care bye